Okay, here's where we put our compact flash right there. It's important to make sure that your machine is cut off. Totally. Turned off, no power at all. Then, insert your compact flash into the slot. This little lever here will come out. And that way you know you're securely in. It's important to be very secure when you're actually installing your compact flash card. Well, you want to also hook up maybe a USB device of some sort. In this case, we're going to use our little uh, SANS compact flash. That's in a compact flash drive device right there, as you can see. And we've hooked it up USB on the A side right here. Okay, now that I have my compact flash memory stored, uh, installed rather into my Cork Triton Extreme, and I also have my extra memory, which is right here on this separate compact flash. Uh, actually, it's a uh, yeah compact flash reader. I'm now going to actually look at both these compact flashes. First, we'll press media. Once we press media, we'll see here any other items we have that might be connected to our system. In this case, we see the compact flash. It's our MPC-1000 combat flash, our sounds for the Triton. We also have an RR, an RDD with no label. That's this device I have right here. We're going to format this compact flash memory. I'll click there. We'll click Utility. And when Utility, we go to Format, which is right there. And now we can format this compact flash card. We have a quick format, which will format very quickly. We have the FAT16, or 3216, which took a little bit longer to actually format. And we have the full format. In this case, I just want to probably just quick format it. And also, we can name our sound. See it right there? We can press clear and name it. and delete and press OK. So now it says new volume. Next, I'll format the drive. Are you sure? OK. And now we're formatted and it's been formatted. We're ready to save to this compact flash now. OK. And sample is set up again. I'm going to take a couple of samples and make a real beat up from something. We're all hooked up. And now we've got our pre-trigger. We're in sample mode. I'll press the sample. CD. Now I'm ready to sample right over here. And we got our sample. Let's take some more samples. Let's sample the next one. Oh, we got that. Okay, now I've got one sample here already. It's my drum loop. I'll put the next sample in. I'm going to create that sample. I'm going to go right here to preferences. So instead of making it 12 keys, I can go right here. I want to make that one sample that's one key. Here's one right there. That's set. Go to program. Go to create. So I can create one more key. So that means the next sound will be the next step. Now it'll be D3. Okay, we're going to sample something else. Now I'll sample another new sample. Got this one. Oh. Okay, we got some other samples in. Uh. Not that one. Uh. Another laid back track. That's what we want right there. Another laid back track. Perfect. Okay, we got my samples. I want to probably save them to disk. Here's how we do that. 
Okay, now I'm gonna press the media button on our Triton. Media button is depressed, and now I'm gonna press utility. You can see over the media screen and what's on our media. I'm on utility, I'm gonna press format. Now I can format my compact flash. As you can see it says compact flash right there. I'm gonna format my compact flash, which is right, right there. And once I format that, I'm good to go. So we go to utility, format, do a quick format, press OK. Are you sure? I press OK. It's now formatting that disk and clearing it all out. See? Everything's disappeared. Next, I want to press save. Now, I want to save some data to this actual file. All right, next I'll press save. And I'll press save up here. Up our menu. And I'll press save sampling data. So I'll save all the samples I've put into the Triton to this point. Okay? It says oil. It says all. And I have, this is save multi samples and samples data. I want to do that. It's going to be called the new file. I can name the file if I want to. I can clear it and call it S-K-I-N-G-S schemes. One, two, is 10 at this point. I'll say OK. That's what it's going to be called. See that? And I'll save the samples in the folder and the actual KSC. It's the core scripts file I'm going to use. That will tell those samples where they go on the keyboard. Now I'll press, yep, all. I'll press OK. And now it's saving those samples to the compact flash. And once it's done, we'll see them all there on the file. Okay, we can see right here we have our KSC script. That's our core script file. We have our samples are right here in this folder, which we call Skings 10, as you can see right there. Well, that's been done. Well, now it's time to go back to making the beat. Now we got to save to our compact flash. Make sure you keep your data saved and stored on your compact flash card. It's always important to back up your data constantly.